What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at Black Mirror, which I guess has nothing to do with the TV show. I don't think it has anything to do with the TV show. I think there was some other thing called Black Mirror and I'm not really sure. Either way, THQ Nordic sent it over this morning and I figured I would give it a look with all of you here to decide if it's something that you want to play. I'm not a big point and click guy, but that being said... I did really enjoy Quest for Glory. I've played all of those about a thousand times and all the King's Quest. So somewhere in my brain, there exists an enthusiasm for point and click. So let's get started. Black Mirror time. Let's see what the storyline's got going. Oh, we got to fill up a progress meter first. I got you. I got you. Oh, they got us into the gameplay quick. Run, fool! I don't even know what's behind us, but it's probably like a werewolf or something. It's all foggy and scary out, and I'm carrying a lantern. It's always a werewolf, given that criteria. It's always a werewolf. It's gotta be. I'm carrying a lantern. That's the big part, is if somebody's carrying a lantern and they're falling down a hill, it's probably some kind of monstrous beast that wants to eat me. It's probably not a vampire or anything like that. Oh, we fell on a rock. Are we alive? Oh, dude, why you got a voodoo doll? Don't do that. Oh, that's a bad call, man. Why you got a voodoo doll for? Yup, that- You do, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? <laughs> See, that's what he should have already done, is he should have taken that voodoo doll and thrown it out a window. Like, definitely don't use that voodoo doll. Where am I going right now? Are we still, like, running away? I guess we're still fleeing for our lives. Oh, there's a stairway right here. What's inside this little crypty thing over here? I'm gonna go inside this little crypty thing over here. Can I not go that way? Oh, it's not gonna let me? There's an invisible wall right there? Oh, that's a bummer. I thought I was gonna go inside the crypty thing. Oh, shit, it's a ghost with a shiny booby. Yeah, that was a mistake, man. What are you trying to touch ghosts for? This dude is like checking all the boxes right now for terrible horror movie mistakes. Like, why are you? Why you gotta touch the ghost? Just leave the ghost alone. The path of thy commandments. Coward! You betrayed your family. Well, I keep running. What is this? Is it like a sword? What's this right here? Give it to me. Do we have like a blade? Yeah, pull a knife on him. Everybody knows you can stab a ghost. You're too late! You will not get him! Uh, Look, it must. I don't see it working. Like, I'm cheering for you right now. I was really hoping it would, but, uh... Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice little paper diet right there. That'll help you drop some pounds. What? This dude just lit his own ass on fire. Whatever must have been coming must have been super hardcore. I mean, if burning to death is a more satisfactory resolution than whatever's coming, you gotta figure whatever was headed up that hill has got to be pretty monstrous by comparison. We didn't get to see it, though. Wish that we did. Although there is such a thing in movies and games as showing the monster too early. Like, for example, The Village by M. Night Shyamalan. They showed the monster too early. They showed the monster too early. They should have showed just snippets. Claws. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company 
as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. So, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Apparently we've got a treasure chest over here, and so being interested in piratey things like I am, I think I'm gonna open it. Let's see what's inside the piratey treasure. So, family of snakes, beware. Alright. Can I open the treasure now? What's inside the treasure? You should definitely open that. Maybe it's a gun. Oh, it's not a gun. I was hoping it was a gun because that would take us into like the first person shooter like and then I get to hang out the side of like a you know I get to hang out the side of whatever this jeep thing is that we're inside of right now and just be like on anybody that tries to come after me uh it's like a chunk of castle that's definitely a little pluggy do right there I bet I put that inside of something we have arrived Sir. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. What's a scatty doobie? An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. <laughs> it is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Oh, he's making me, he's checking my papers right now. That guy looks like the bad guy, I'm calling it right now.
That's the bad guy. It's either him or the old lady. Somebody's going to try and club me with a candelabra in the parlor. I know it. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What a curious object. Uh... I mean, it's a castle. Should I lie or should I tell the truth? I bet he's going to call me on it if I lie. I'm going to tell the truth, even if it gets me killed. I'm going to be truthful for once in my Isn't life. It? it belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Uh, please follow me, Master David. Why is it so dark in here? Like, why are the light sources throwing so little light? This feels eerie. I think something bad's going to happen to me. I'm following. Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. Hmm. Why is my grandfather so creepy? Why am I not giving like loving vibes off of this? Like grandparents are most they're supposed to make you feel more at ease and give you cookies. They're not supposed to make you feel creeped out. Like maybe it's just the fact that they underlit it. Like maybe if they put the lighting in like a more advantageous position, he would look a lot less foreboding. Why is that candle all busted up? Oh, I can examine things. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you, but Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. There is no denying it. We are family. Why is that candle out? Like, shouldn't we, uh, like... This way, sir. All right, hold on. People trying to rush me along. Trying to do my investigative work right now and figure out how long it's going to be till I get murdered in this creepy ass old house. Dude, I hate it when there's trophies hanging in a house and it's all dark inside of there. Like, when it's like 2 in the morning, you're trying to go down to like the bathroom. Or you're trying to go get some water or something. And then they'd have like buffaloes on the walls and stuff. Those things look creepy you as hell at night. So kind as to follow me, sir. I will not follow you. What is this over here? I suppose it's hard to keep things dry. But with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. I mean, but you're going to get dry rot, though. You've got to be careful. If you've got water running down into your walls, you're going to have some issues. Where'd this dude go? Oh, my God. I turned a corner. It was the most horrifying experience ever. Ew, a ticking clock. I hate it when clocks are ticking. I don't like repetitive noises. I can't sleep when there's a repetitive noise. <laughs> it does that sometimes, sir. Like 12 times a day sometimes, you mean? Or like 24 times a day. But you know, you're only awake for like 12 of them. That's what I meant. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at 8, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. Man. Hospitality is not... This place is getting a terrible review. When I go to Airbnb, this place get burned. What is that? I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. 
Okay. I assume at some point we're going to walk out of the room, everybody's going to be dead, and we're going to spend the rest of the game trying to figure out how the hell we get out of here. Either that or there's going to be a trap door and we're going to get dropped down into like some kind of crypt thing. I don't know. What do you all think? I'm trying to call where this is going to go right now. Like, somehow this house is going to turn sinister. It's already pretty sinister on its own without assistance. It feels like somebody really put the gas in the tank when it came to how creepy this house is. This game is kind of a weird amalgamation, though. Like, the lip syncing is terrible, and, like, the controls are not super great. But at the same time, the lighting effects are really good, and the graphics look pretty solid as long as nobody's talking. Like, I really like the lighting effects, and so it's kind of a mixed bag as far as that's concerned. They really got the leather effects in and everything else, too. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. Uh, an ashtray over there, just in case we feel like sitting around and smoking like everybody in this time period did. Uh, we've got... I can't even see what's down there. What is that? Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. That's because he's got those man-strangling hands. I bet he's gonna try and murder us at some point. I have no doubt we are definitely almost gonna get murdered at some point in this adventure. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> a pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. I don't even have a passport because I don't go anywhere. My wife keeps telling me I should get a passport, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't leave my house most days. I can count like 72 hour periods without me even going outside, except for like my run every single day. And so like, I don't think I'm go, I don't think I need one. I, I don't think I'm going anywhere. I don't like change and I don't like new things. I just like being where I am and enjoying my time. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Not many matches left. Apparently I've got matches, which have been added to an item list somewhere. Uh, what is this over here? I can't see. I need to find a brightness control. I can't see worth a damn. There we go. That's a little bit more manageable. It looks slightly more washed out, but it'll have to do for right now. My mom has a grandfather clock, and I hate that damn thing. Like, just like the one in the hallway, she's got like a grandfather clock that's like 11 feet tall. And, like, I swear to God, every time you're trying to come in the house when it's, like, dark and you're not in the mood to be freaked out, like, you'll be just, like, trying to sneak into the house or whatever, every time that thing will be, like, bing, boom, and scare the tits off of you, dude. It's the worst. I hate that damn thing. In an old house like this one, sooner or later, no drawer stays empty. I do the same thing when I go into hotel rooms. I check all the drawers every single time. It's almost obsessive. When I'm in a new place, I check all the drawers. I check all the cabinets. I check all of like the bureaus. I check everything just in case there might be a monster in there. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. Michael Scott. So there's the thing that I'm probably going to get beat to death with later. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. What is that? Ah, just what I need. Oh, it's a candle. Okay, I guess we got a candle now. Now I can see a lot better. Man, it's kind of foggy in here, though. People need to stop smoking their cigars in the parlor. This is what bowling alleys looked like in the 80s, for those of you that weren't there. It was just all, like, hazy and foggy. Actually, pretty much every building, in all honesty, back when it was legal to smoke inside, pretty much every building was hazy and foggy like this. It was the worst. My faithful friend, Insomnia... I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. Yeah, you didn't even try to go to sleep though, man. That's not insomnia. That's called, I didn't even try to go to bed. Like, I always get that. People would be like, I have insomnia. And then you like hang out with them and they're just playing video games till like 7 a.m. And I'd be like, you don't have insomnia. You don't go to bed. There's a difference. Like, there, there's a keen difference between those two things. Like, you at least got to lay down and try to go to sleep first before you can say you got insomnia. I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. Later. What's wrong with Scottish water? Like, is it okay? What's inside of here? Did I get everything from here? 
I got the matches, so it doesn't look like there's anything over there. I just want to make sure that my kit is, is like, as equipped as possible before I walk out into the hellish nightscape that's awaiting me over here. Uh, this dude needs to get himself some sunlight. He's like a little bit of it. Just like knock the pale out of there, you know what I mean? Like get a little bit of sunlight in there. Get a little bit of get a little bit of bronzing action going on. He said don't leave the room, man. Why are you leaving the room? See, I follow directions. That's why I don't get eaten by monsters. I follow directions. People can't follow directions in games like this, and that's why they get eaten. He specifically said don't leave the room. That was like the one thing he told you that was not threatening. He was like, don't leave the room, bro. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out. Wait, what happened? I tried to click on the thing. So we got letters from David's mother. Let's see here. A box of matches. In my diary, I've got all kinds of things going on in here. A trip from India was large and arduous. I was reluctant to leave mother on her own alone coping with father's death. I was a child when he moved us to India announcing it would be a better environment for us, but it was not the case. Though I'd always been curious to see the ancestral home of the Gordon clan with my own eyes, my father was quick to point out that a house was not a home. While grandmother Margaret's primary concern seemed to revolve around matters of me inheriting the estate, I'm more interested in the circumstances of my father's demise. Even in the face of his many years of absence from our lives, admittedly not his only vice, I feel as though there is a shadow obscuring much, if not most, of what happened in his final days and weeks. He spent most of my youth traveling, searching for answers. His gin-filled melancholy was linked to his twin obsessions, the Gordon family history and the occult. Answers to I know not what, he did not confide with me much in my mother or myself. Then he simply did not return. I fear that I am perhaps overthinking this as always, as my tutors would no doubt delight in reminding me. My proclivity to blend imagination with reality will not help answer the questions awaiting for me at the house. God, I was so wordy. We meet again, old foe. Damn right, I put a foot through that thing's glass. I hate grandfather clocks, they always make that ticking noise. And when they're not ticking, they're bonging. And normally, I'm a big fan of the bonging, but not in that circumstance. Can I check this cabinet over here? Where's the gun at? We need a gun. Like, where's the flamethrower hidden at? That's the only way we're going to make it through this. When the xenomorphs come. A dumb waiter. Big enough to fit your own weight and food into. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the Winchester Mystery House. Where I live, there's this place called the Winchester Mystery House. And it was built by the Winchester family that made Winchester rifles. The old lady after her husband died. And she thought she was cursed. And a soothsayer told her if she ever stopped building her house, uh, the ghosts would get her from all the people the rifles had killed. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. I'm going to keep listening. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? Eavesdropping, Mr. Gordon? That's hardly proper. Not eavesdropping, just kind of looking around the place. Ghosts, legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? That's true. We don't have TV or Netflix right now, so we got to fall back on uh, boredom bricks. I forgot about that. Uh, traveling backwards in time would not work out well for me. I need a highly stimulated mind, otherwise I ain't getting nothing done. If I had to go back in time at this period, I'd probably just be an alcoholic all the time. I would just drink nonstop because I would be utterly just there's no entertainment. Like, what do you do? Despair by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness. Clawing fiends of future sadness mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living lone and sobbing in the throes of anguish throbbing with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest that didn't rhyme but beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion culminating all the years of fruitless quest oh there it is he resolved it I hate it when people don't resolve rhymes. Like when they've got like a rhyme scheme going and then they don't like finish it. It's like hearing the first three bars of a song and not getting the fourth one. It's the worst. Is this what father meant by a family of snakes? Uh, sometimes the camera does odd things. I don't think I did that, but I don't know. We can make the camera. Oh, we can't do it. Now. Oh, I can make the camera go like, woo. Oh. You can pan the camera in different directions by going to the edge of the screen. Gotcha. So, to like, do I want to go down there and talk with Dr. Creepy, or do we just want to do our own thing? 
Uh, I'm about to go talk to Dr. Creepy. All right, let's go talk to him. He and his weird green lamp. How do I go down the stairs over here? I haven't mastered this skill yet. Where's the skill tree? How many kills do I need to get to the part of the skill tree where I can go down some stairs? Or... Aha! I found the stairwell. It only took me a minute. I think this is the stairwell. So... Let's go talk to Dr. Creepy, I guess. I don't really have a choice. What is he doing over here? Let's look at it. If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gorton is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? He's definitely up to something. That's his murder plot on how to kill me. Uh, so what is your job around here? That looks daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland? Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Nothing good is going to happen when we go to bed. I'm calling it now. We're going to go to bed, and you're going to hear, like, whoomp. And you're going to be like, oh, it's starting. Why does it always start like this whoomp? You'll be like, I could get out of bed right now, and I could go investigate, or I could lay here and be comfortable and warm until I die. So I can die out there, cold in the hallway, holding a candle like a dumbass. Or I can die here in my bed, nice and comfortable, with a pillow under me. I think I'm going to stay here. Whoomp. I'm like, oh, all right. I can tell you're not going to stop until I go investigate. Whoomp. Let's go find out what the noise is. Hopefully, it's nothing too sinister. And then when we go out into the hallway, the most important part of going out into the hallway in a horror movie is you have to say, Is anybody there? Like an idiot. Everybody does that in horror movies. Every single one. Is anybody there? No, something's whooping in the darkness because it Sounds wants you to be friendly. By Edgar Allan Poe. Take this kiss upon the brow. And in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. A dream within a dream. See, that's sleepy time material. Like, am I supposed to be picking up a book right now, or can I just, like, go back to bed? I don't have insomnia problems. My character does. I sleep like a log. I sleep happy. I sleep like a cat in a sun patch. I'm going back to bed. We don't need a book. Books are for suckers. We'll be all right. All right, let's go to bed. Time for us to take a load of... Uh, it's not going to let me. All right, I'll go track down the book. So apparently upon looking at my objectives, I'm supposed to open up the desk over here. It says that I, he said he was going to go find a book and go back to bed. I was playing it the way that the character played it. It's not like he was like, snirk, snirk, sniff, sniff. Guess what? I'm not going to do what I said I was going to do. 
Uh, we gotta find a way to open the desk. This desk right here, maybe? I don't know. I figure it would have given us like, like a cutscene or something. Like indicating he was trying to break into the desk. So that I knew he was trying to break into the desk. So I could get my thiefy roguelike on over here. I guess I'll go out through this door. What's this way? Uh, this place doesn't look creepy at all. <sighs> Exquisite craftsmanship. I doubt our family could afford a marvel such as this nowadays. I mean, this entire place is like made out of hardwood, bro. Like, this banister is probably worth more than my life. This stuff's probably all like black walnut or something. It looks a little light for black walnut, but like... I'm just saying, this house looks expensive AF. This ain't the particle board bullshit that they use. Particle board, stucco, and whatever else they can spray out nowadays. This is that good shit that houses are made out of. I suppose I'll look around for... I don't know, anything. We're probably going to run into somebody else in here, though, and something bad's going to happen. This place does not strike me as being the safest. And it's my house. That's the worst part. Lady Margaret and Edward. <laughs> How young they look. But who are the others? You really know very little about your own family, David. Like, my thing is, it's my house and it's this creepy. If I inherited this house, I'd sell this thing in a minute. You know there's ghostesses in here. I would sell this in a heartbeat. I'd be like, this house has got to go. This house is cursed. I'm out of here. A peculiar place to spend the night. I best not wake her. I mean, she's an old lady. Old people fall asleep everywhere. Like, you give my dad five minutes in a comfortable cushion, he'll be out like a light regardless. He'll be in the middle of Disneyland on a bench and he'll black out. I mean, that's what happens. You get older and your energy... Is that a helmet inside of there? Can I equip it? Give me that helmet, though. That looks like it would protect my dome pretty good from whatever monsters are coming out. You know, I don't know if there's anything going on in here. My name is Splattercat. This is called Black Mirror. Apparently, we've got to stalk our way around a house for a little bit and figure out where the key is to the thing we're trying to get into uh, before we get too much further into the game. Now, if you wanted to get the game for yourself and you were intrigued by the horror exploration aspects that it's got going on right now, the game is definitely a slow starter. Uh, it doesn't I mean, they do a good job with like the uh, the environment, though. It feels suitably creepy. It feels like this is definitely going to be the set piece for something bad happening it's got good lighting effects and everything else what is this would tear up photographs given the painstaking process surrounding their creation apparently I picked up more photos Look outside to speculate about the size of the estate yep this house would have to go I will see you all later uh, let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more easiest way to support my videos here on YouTube is just to smash that like button other than that, got a link for you down below if you want the game and you want to play it for yourself. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Don't have a whole lot more for you. Bye, everybody.